I'm going to do something a little different this morning, a little more involved cooking than just sausage and eggs or something like that. I'm going to make some cinnamon apples and hotcakes. Well, you start out with an apple. Any any kind of apple's good. They talk about cooking apples and eating apples and all that. Just whatever apple you happen to have. And you need to peel it, of course. Don't think there's any need to let you sit here and watch the camera and watch me peel an apple. Okay, here I've got the apple cored and peeled and cut up into slices. Next thing is about an inch of butter in the skillet. That's about enough right there. Let that melt. Okay, the butter is melted. So in go the apples. Spread those around a bit. And some brown sugar, I'd say. Uh, well, maybe a quarter of a cup of it or something like that if you're the measuring type. Small handful if you're like me. And some cinnamon. We'll just put the lid on that and let's get happy there. Well, they have been cooking about five minutes. Check them out here. Oh, yeah. Looking and cooking. It's just, they're doing what it should. But at this time, add just a little salt. Anytime you use sugar and so something, you should back it up with a little salt to bring out the flavor. Let that keep going. Well, the apples are getting soft, so it's about time to add my other seasoning. One of them is cloves. Now, cloves is a very strong spice, and you don't want to put too awful much of it in or it'll overpower everything else. And what is apple without allspice? Just a little shake of that. Stir this up. And I want a little bit more liquid than that on it, so I'm going to cheat a little with some white Cairo syrup. Now, if you want to, you can use vanilla extract, but I happen to like amaretto. It's a liqueur, and if you're concerned about the alcohol, amaretto actually has less alcohol content than vanilla. Than vanilla does. It's put up in alcohol, pure alcohol. And just enough to give it a flavor. Oh yeah, it smells great. Now what I'm going to do now is turn the burner down as low as it'll go and make the hotcakes. I use Krusty's pancake mix. You can use any brand you want. It's all about the same. That's a cup of it. And I need a two-thirds of a cup of water. I don't know 
what it do, but it says on there, do not use milk. And whisk goes together. Okay, the griddle's hot. Time to start making the hot cakes. One other thing, some chopped pecans. Let those cook. Well, the bubbles on top have decided to have popped through. And they're now popping shut, which indicates they are ready to turn. Okay, the hot cakes are done. Oh yeah, looks good. Spoon the apples over them. Get some of that good syrup up here. Now that's ready to go to the table. As soon as I put my sausage on there. There it is. There it is on the table, ready to eat. Eat your heart out, IHOP. You never made anything better than that. <laughs>